Okay, welcome back. Um, what I want to show you now is just how I'm using circuits.io, 123D circuits, um, and CodeBender. Now, CodeBender.cc is a free Arduino um, development environment uh, that we can use on Chromebooks. I'm going to be using it on my Mac, but if you can use it on your Chromebook, uh, it shouldn't be any different. So what you can see here is I have used 123D circuits to run the simulation, uh, the blink sketch for the Arduino Uno. And if I go to my code editor, um, you can see that the code is there. I originally got that code from Arduino, um, the website right here. And all I did was uh, copy the code from down here, which is a really easy tutorial. Um, and then I pasted it into my Blink sketch. So when I, I'm sorry, wrong way, video, there we go. All right. One, two, three D circuits. There we go. So I pasted it here into my code editor right there. See that? Um, I went down here. I selected that, I pasted the new code in, and I uploaded it and ran it. And I can see that my blink is working. I've got my LED and my positive and negative on the right side, and that's great. Now what I can do is I can copy that code and plug in my Uno here on my computer. And I've got my Arduino just about ready to go over here. Now I'm going to go to CodeBender. So I go to CodeBender.cc and press return so I can start it from scratch. And now if you do only one sketch here, you can uh, do it without logging in, but uh, you might find it necessary to log in. Um, I'm going to make sure I choose the right uh, port for my modem, which I think this is the, or for my uh, Arduino, which is the right one. I'm going to paste in the code there and verify it. And now I'm going to upload it to my Arduino. Upload successful. Let's see if it's working. Perfect. So now I've done both uh, of these successfully. I've basically rebuilt my, uh, my Arduino sketch from 123D circuits uh, to match the simulation and it's running just like it would on the simulation. And so that's all good. Now what I can do is I can start playing with the code. I can start messing with the code and changing the pins and changing the timing um, and having a little fun uh, getting this to blink a little bit faster or slower, maybe adding another LED um, or um, then moving on to um, this device, which is the LilyPad Arduino. So let's have some fun with that.